I was uh, 13 when my mother died. It was hard. I had been molested by one of her friends when I was 11, and I never told anybody. I took pills several times, tried to kill myself. I got locked away for a while because of it. I could get into the bars. I had phony ID. I went into the bars every night. So I, did, I drank. I did drugs. I did so many things. When I turned 18, I saw an ad in the paper for a position in an adult uh, video store. I walked through the doors of that store. I was introduced to things that women will never ever know or experience in their life. I saw an advertisement for a bartender in a topless nightclub and I decided I would go apply. Now telling myself that I would never dance or do anything like that, I would just tin bar. I walked in there and they hired me on the spot. But a week later, I was on the dance floor. And I never ever stopped to think. I had a little girl at home. The uh, manager of the topless nightclub I worked at, we became friends. We used to uh, drive down to San Francisco together to find other girls to work in the nightclub. I ended up having a relationship with her. Something happened. There was a young university co-ed and she was found murdered. My friend would walk me to the, my car when I'd get off because we would think there's safety in numbers. And sometime later, I had saw on the, the news that they'd found the person that had murdered this university co-ed and someone had confessed to it and it was the girl that I had the relationship with. My whole life I carried all that stuff. The guilt, the shame. My middle daughter, Nikki, she used to always tell me, Mom, just let Jesus help you. And I remember telling her, more than once. Your Jesus. What can your Jesus do? And she never ever wavered. She never ever let go of the fact that Jesus would help me and always be there for me. When my husband died, the church had offered to do the memorial. And they were there for me. I didn't even know who they were. They were always there, ready to help in any way. And I remember thinking, are these people for real? You know, nobody's that nice and nobody does something for nothing. I wanted to find out for myself. And I started going to the rock. I went every week sat there and I, I still, I just didn't get it. I mean, I just, I tried to read the word. I didn't get it. I, I tried to do all the right things. I just, I wasn't getting it. I was at the end of myself. I, I lost my husband. I, I didn't know where to go, where to turn. I remember getting on the floor by my bed and just asking God, if you're for real, show me you're for real. I want to know what what these people talk about. I asked him to forgive me of all my mess and my life. And God met me on the floor that night. He met me and it was like nothing I'd ever experienced, the love the peace, the things that were lifted off of me. Jesus pulled me out of a slimy pit of hell. 
he pulled me out of a pit of hell. But he not only pulled me out of the pit, he said, come walk with me. And he made me see that not only do I have value, but I'm good enough to walk hand in hand with the living God. <laughs>